So first of all we've got the battery, 130 amp hour, fuse box down there. Uh, this is a home charger connected up, so we'll just plug that in at home and uh, charge. In fact, we'll just connect that now. So we just grab this cross dial clip here and connect it to the negative. That comes on there, you see, we switched off, but we're on 100% battery anyway, so I'll just keep that off for now. Let's go back round to the back and open up the doors. So, here we've got our sofa, which actually folds over into a bed, which I'll show you in a minute. We've got an under storage cupboard here, quite a lot of space in there. This panel here comes off, it's a bit of Velcro, so that's a place to stick your gas tank, a gas connector just here, and a bit of extra storage. Come in the van, and we'll turn around. We've got our Dometic 8821 sink and hob combination. Obviously we need a gas tank for the gas to be working. But I'll just show you now that the sink works. I'll just turn the water on and the switch panel, which I'll show you in a minute. So there we go, that's that working. So that feeds in here from a 10 litre fresh water tank into a 10 litre grey water tank. got our curtains on the windows, we've put them on all four windows, just come off Amazon Universal curtains, they're not the best, could have done with two curtains per set or been a bit longer but you know, can't get everything. These little cargo nets came off a friend of mine, they were a great addition, just a little extra storage there. You've got your existing lights and speakers, they were already here, obviously they work with the car engine. So moving along, we've got a 16 litre mini fridge here, it can hold up to 27 standard cans, uh, get a fair little bit in there. It's also got a hot mold on the back so you can change it to heat things up. So here we've got our switch panel, we've got our lights for the roof, we've got four LED spotlights just in the roof there. Let's flip those on, there we go. And then we've got our fan, there it is, it's got two settings on it. So it's got one speed, two speed, there we go. We've got our water pressure for the sink as you've just seen. We've got our fridge, just power that on there. There we go, very nice and quiet. And we've got our USB socket, that's just behind the bed down there for when the bed's laid out, you can charge your phone at night time. So, got a little TV reel there, that, you just stick that out that window onto the roof for our TV that's mounted just here on this post. So that's on a swivel, so you can literally just turn that around wherever you want it to go. And that's plugged in to our inverter just here. So we have four USB slots, we have two plug sockets and another 12 volt socket there. Pretty cool, we just flip it on, all powers up. TV's on, so yeah, simple enough. Off. There we go. So then we've got our uh, solar charge controller. Obviously, it speaks for itself. Just controls the voltage from the solar and to the battery. Perfect. So it's pretty much what's inside the back. What we'll do is I'll just show you the bed. So we'll just move that off there. You there. Uh, Give me a second. There we go, that's the bed folded out. Fit two on there if you like to snuggle.